Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've been showcasing a plugin lately. It's called Divi Hover Effects or Divi Image Hover Effects, and they've got some marvelous effects here. I think you get about 250 of them with the plugin. And right now they've got it on sale for $15, reduced from $49. I'll put the link below this video. Today we're going to build one from scratch. Some of these you can do from scratch. And we're going to do this pop-up to image to text. Nice little effect to have on your site. That's great for little info boxes and stuff like that. And it's pretty easy to do too. So let's get started. I'm going to enable my visual builder. And the way these work at the moment is we've got a, a row here with two columns in it and the image you're looking at is actually in the column itself and then on top of it we've got a text module that will have zoom up from the bottom so let's get started let's work on our second column so first thing I'm going to do is add a little text image Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules with the exception of Divi, Divi Image Hover, which is the plugin I just showed you. So I'm just going to throw a text module in here. And let's give it a heading as well. So I'm going to drop down. Obviously, you put whatever content you need to put in there. I'm going to make that into a heading, say heading 2. I'll move this out of the way so we can see. Great, so we've got that. Uh, let's move on down. I'll give it a background color. Still on the content tab. I've gone down to background. I'm just going to add a simple background color. And let's sort this out so we can actually see it. So let's go to our design tab. Text. I'm going to roll down. And I'm going to say text light. There we go. We can see it better now. I'm going to align everything to the middle. Now let's give it a little bit of padding, but before I give it some padding, I'm going to give it a fixed height. To do that, we're still on the design tab. I'm going to go to sizing. I'm going to go down to height. And I'm going to type in, let's say 350 pixels. Just put in the 350, it'll put in the rest for you. Yeah, that looks what, what I use next door, so that should work fine. Okay, now let's align our content to the center here so we can roll down to spacing just underneath and let's try giving it padding of say 100 pixels on the top again just put in the number it'll put in the pixels for you that works about right I'll leave the padding on the bottom as it is and padding left let's say 50 pixels left and 50 pixels right yeah, that puts it in the middle quite nicely. Now, to make this work, I want to slide everything down and get rid of that heading. I know that's 350. But before we do that, let's put our image in the column. So let's save our changes here. I'm going to go up to the green tab, which is the column, into settings, a little cog there. We're working on column two, column one, column two. Let's put a background image in there. You won't see it because of our background here, but you'll know it's there. I guess I'll use that same image. And what I'm going to do, I made this 350 pixels high. So I want to make my column a similar height and I want to hide anything that comes out of that. And that's the overflow they call that. So I'm going to add just a single line of custom CSS. Custom CSS, we're in the advanced tab. I'm just going to say height. 350 pixels, 350px. There we go. And let's save my changes. And on the advanced tab of the row, we want to go down to visibility 
and you're going to see horizontal overflow that's anything that overflows left and right and vertical overflow anything that overflows top and bottom I want to set those both to hidden so if anything spills outside of that column it'll be invisible so we've got our column pretty well set there let's go back and make the magic happen on our little box here so let's go in there now we gave it that blue background let's take that away when we're not hovering over it so on the content tab let's go down to background and common to most Divi modules when you hover over the dark legending you'll see these little icons appear little arrow you've got a desktop or non hover state and you've got a little arrow which is the hover state so for the desktop or non hover state I'm going to take that away, have no background at all. So we can see our image now. And when we hover over it, I want that color to come back. So I'll give it a blue background for when we hover over it and transparent for when we don't. Okay, now I want to make that writing disappear because we don't want to see that when we're hovering over it either. Or rather, I should say, we don't want to see that until we're hovering over it. So let's go to our design tab going to go down to spacing again I'm going to hover over till I get that little arrow up right there and on the non hover state I'm just going to be a whole load of padding at the top which will push it down out of the way I know this is 350 so we could try 350 it might not quite be enough yep yeah, that's pushed it out of the way perfectly fantastic and then when we hover back on it I want it to go back being wherever it was. I think it was 100 pixels, wasn't it? 100. Yeah, fantastic. And the color will come back in. So when we're not hovering over it, you're not going to see it. When we are hovering over it, it's going to pop back up there. Now the default time for all this to happen with Divi is 300 milliseconds. That's a little bit too quick for me. So if we go over to our advanced, down to transitions you can set it to whatever you want we got 300 as the default you can either slide this up or just type in a value of your own there I'm gonna have mine around a second I suppose don't want any delay I want it to happen as soon as somebody hovers over it and the transition speed curve that I want to use is ease in ease out now it'll ease in and then when you take your mouse off it'll ease out with that that's one of my favorites for these hover effects so if we've done everything correctly that should actually work now so let's save our changes save our page changes little purple button down here save draft or publish if you're ready and let's exit the visual builder And let's hover over our little module. And there we go. There's your image. When we hover over it, that little bit of text is popping up. And of course, if you wanted to add a link, you could just add a link to the module and you could click on it, take people wherever you want. And that's a nice little effect. Like I say, that's great for little info boxes and things like that. So that is how to make a hover effect without a plugin using just the inbuilt features of the Divi theme. Pretty simple. And I'll put that little bit of CSS I wrote just below this video so don't worry too much about copying it. And you're welcome to use it how you wish. So I hope you've enjoyed that today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.